Freddie and Juan have just one week to make this mine profitable, or after 12 years of struggling, the Bush Creek boys will be done. Hey, Juan, yeah, let's see what we got, Freddie. Man, they sure got a lot of equipment out here, Freddie. They got a lot of iron sitting around. Ooh. Wasn't cheap getting all this stuff out here, for sure. Here's their upper slippers. How big of gold are you guys getting? You getting pretty chunky gold? No chunky, all fine gold, well, typically, yeah. Okay. No nuggets. Quite the operation, huh? Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. Yep. All the data that we've collected, all the samples that we've had, tell us that we're losing 50% of our gold. If the gold's in the ground, Juan and Freddie can probably help us get it out. Well, you guys ready to run? We are. Well, let's do a test. Let's let's fire it up. OK, yeah, let's crank it up. Yeah. The plan is a seven-hour test run. This will allow Freddie and Juan to assess the problems and get a baseline for how much gold is captured. She's not a looker by any means, but she's working. It's humming about as good as we can make it home right now. Dennis asked close friend Clay Baldwin, an engineer from South Carolina, to join him at Bush Creek eight years ago. He oversees all aspects of the mine as head foreman. Dennis is like a friend and a father. We all want to work and, you know, make each other successful. In the initial years, when we hit really good ground, we had great summers. Unfortunately, the profits from that went into more complicated procedures, and that hindsight was a waste of money and time. We still have got some fight left in us. I think this mine can make it. The potential's huge. There could be a billion dollars worth of gold right there. It's that treasure hunt. One day, you might bring up the excavator bucket that will change your life in the drop of a hat. A lot of what really drives me in this, just finding an answer. That's my main thing. It's not always about money. Mike Starr, the crew's heavy equipment expert, is a half Athabascan Alaskan native whose background is on oil rigs. We've been struggling with this place for almost 10 years now. We put everything into this. I'd like to see our families back home. It's happy for us that we made this work and, you know, we did it. If we could get this thing making money again, would save this mine. It's not looking good if we don't make good gold, that's for sure. Mike feeds pay dirt into a hopper. From here, the material goes into a shaker deck that washes the gold-bearing material off the rocks and dirt. The material enters the upper sluice, then flows through a jig, then passes into a massive lower sluice 40 feet long by 12 feet wide with vortex cells. Wano, fill these Hungarians. The dribbles are locked up pretty hard. Trip pack right tight. This is Joe, okay, one over. Yeah. You know, we spent a lot of our life and struggles to get this mine up to where we are, and uh, life's short, needs to pay out. Let's go look at your lower sluice, Wano. Oh, crap. Look what we got here, Freddy. Yeah. It's just hobby miner stuff on a bigger scale. Yep. This whole bottom bottom part of this loose is pointless. It is. Yeah, this just is pointless. Just pissing in the wind right here. 
The jig plant sits between the sluice runs, designed to capture the fine gold, but with parts delayed for months, it's just useless metal. That whole section of the plant can move. Yeah. We don't even need it there. He like said the jigs don't work. None of it works. Just, and all it does is screw everything up to get to a secondary sluice. Freddie and Juan face the daunting challenge of removing the jig and improving the sluice boxes, all without access to their work trucks. So what do you think of it? I think it looks like something. Yeah, it looks, looks like a hobby miner setup. Honestly, that lower sluice. This is the only mine that I've ever been at, that Clay's ever been at, that all of us have ever been at. Yep. So we don't have the experience of looking at other people's operation. Yeah. It's been a big learning curve. None of us really knew much about gold mining. We just knew how to move dirt. There's a difference between moving dirt and gold mining. We're all fairly ignorant about gold mining. I mean, we're all still learning stuff. The faster we can get this thing turned in the right direction, the better. You know, mechanically speaking, this little plant runs really well. Yeah, it ran all day. So what do you think, Clay? We're exactly seven hours in five minutes. Hey, glass bucket? Yeah, glass bucket. We'll make a good shutdown. Mike, glass bucket. When he dumps it in, though, let's go down. Let's feel those sluices again. When they start slowing down, yeah. yeah. Right now, you can see they're packed in, right? Feel that right there, hard as a rock. When it's running, it was locked right up, and they're locked up now. Yeah, yeah, they are. We always say that your sluice box is valuable real estate, and right here, it's not, it's not doing anything for you. So right now, and those boxes down there are even going to be worse because it's wider. Yeah. How much gold are you seeing down there, Mike? Not very much at all. We usually see a little bit. I'm disappointed they were packed as, as hard as they are. I knew we were having problems with the heavies packing in our riffles. I didn't know it was to the degree that Freddie and Juan showed us. As the crew clean the gold, Freddie and Juan explore their high-end accommodation. Home sweet home, Mono. This is it, huh? This is it, huh, Dennis? This is it. Nice. Great view. Well. Well, what do you think, Freddie? I'll take this side, because I got my big bag. This one's got some bedding on it, so. We've been all over the place, Freddie, but this is the first time we've actually had to stay in the same cabin. <laughs> I hate to tell you, I snore a lot. Yep, I do too. It's gonna be a race to see who can get to sleep first. I sleep naked too, Fred. I hate Me to tell too. You. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> in the seven hour test, the crew ran 300 yards of pay. How's it going, guys? Got her all dried up? We yeah. sure have. Yeah. Given the higher cost of a fly-in operation, there's an ounce. Yeah. They'll need at least 3.6 ounces of gold. Two ounces. Just to break even. Yep, 2.25. Well, there's $3,800 worth of gold there. Just over half of what they need, 2.25 ounces does not even cover costs. We need a lot more gold than that to actually make this pay off and right. bring a profit in. Juan and myself will do what we can to hopefully get your recoveries up. Good deal. You That'd know, be great. I can't swear that we're going to increase you by that much. And sure the ground like spot, that, yeah. I'd like to see that, yeah. 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 You know. Gold mining is a strange thing. You've got everything figured out one moment, and then the next moment you think, you know, I made the biggest mistake of my life coming out here and getting involved in this thing. <laughs>